Now, Lieutenant Baird, begin with the last time we saw each other. Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again. This is my Gears of War Judgment Insane Difficulty video walkthrough. This is Section 5, Central Base. This guide's gonna get you all the stars and all the declassified missions. This is not a challenging mission. The problem with it is getting the score. The score on this is tricky as hell. And there's a few ways to build your score. The one that worked for me on this run was getting the uh, gangbangs of kills. So getting group kills with explosives, but just bear in mind the the wind outside which affects movement also affects your projectiles, so your boom shots are going to do some really magic looking things. And it can be tricky, but if you get Theron guards, they do group up, so you want to use your boom shot as best as you can to kill a bunch of them and, and get a nice bonus. If you get the Therons with the swords, they'll run you directly to you so you can cut them up and chainsaw them. It, it all depends on the spawn. But I've got a lot of grenades as well, so use your grenades. Just try and get those cluster kills, and it helps so much if you can get those ribbons. Uh, it's just down to luck, and I don't like luck. I don't think dice rolls should be part of games. Unless it's an RPG, because then that, that kind of works. But the thing that gets me is the old games didn't have this spawn system. This new spawn system is a random spawn system. It's got you know, a handful of different enemy types it'll throw at you, all depending on, on situation. It's called a smart spawn. Um, I think it can make it tricky, but at the same time it can make it so you can exploit it. Did you ever play Left 4 Dead? Bits of it. Aside from when we put Josh on it that time and <laughs> he shit his pants. Briefly, why? Because Left 4 Dead has got a director that changes the game every time you play, depending on how you're playing. This game's not quite as ambitious as that with the way it spawns, but it does have a handful of different scenarios you'll face depending on on which one it, it chooses. So every time you, like if you died and then came back, yeah. there'd be different people outside now? There's a chance it could be different, yeah. There seems to only be one or two different types, you know, one to different groups of enemies, but it's still... Slightly different. Yeah, Whereas it's... In the other games, was it always the same? It was always the same, yeah. You could learn it. It was a pattern. And on this game, you can still learn it. It's just, you know, if you spawn, it's not the one you want. You're restarting to try and get the one you want. And I don't like that. It's clever. <laughs> if it's gonna, sorry, if it's gonna change every time, surely it might as well be completely random then. Well, that's what you would think. It would be nice if there was more than just a handful. If they went completely to this ideal, you know, of having it different every time, mm. I think it would work a lot better than it does. As it stands, there's just a, a, a an assortment of different groupings which you can kind of pick the one you want. You know, pick to win kind of situation that it leaves you in. And they've done it for our benefit so that when we play back through the campaign it's different and it's unique but I don't think it's enough I don't think they've pushed it as far as it needed to be pushed because I was expecting vastly different waves and it really isn't but that's the end of the video guys so thanks for watching and you take care now